today marks the first annual I Love a Man in a Uniform contest. Yeah! Pick the winner from our hunks in uniform that you're going to see all throughout today's show. Honey, fasten your seatbelt at home. As we meet these guys today, we're going to see that the clothes may not make the man wonder what does. <laughs> <laughs> you see, little do the guys know that we have some big surprises in store for them. They have no idea. I mean, surprises like disgruntled exes. Maybe a little busted pickup they tried to make. And we even have some unexpected reunions that could be good. So before we move on, don't you think we ought to meet these guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like men in uniform. I'm get in trouble. <laughs> So now I'm saying so long, next Rolanda. And a lot of women, how many women in here actually really do love men in uniform? Love it. <laughs> Whether it's a fireman or a policeman or the Maytag man, that uniform just does something for us. There's a lot more to come, a lot more to these guys than just their uniforms, though. And while we're taking a moment to let our audience cool down, you guys okay over here? <laughs> I want you to welcome a very famous photographer who's joining us today. Christopher Marcos is backstage. How you doing, Christopher? I'm fine. Thank you, Ro. How you doing? I'm doing great. You are, you are quite an incredible photographer. I mean, give me some of the names of some of the greats that you have actually taken shots of. Uh, well, of course, I, I did a lot of great shots of Andy Warhol. I've photographed him for many years. Uh, photographed Liz Taylor, uh, Malcolm Forbes. Uh, just recently did the Ivana book, uh, Ivana Trump's uh, book cover. Uh, just. Just you name it. Who, who have I shot? I, I, I think you've them. named a lot of good ones there, Christopher. Unbelievable. Well, these guys are going to be graced by your talent. Christopher is going to be shooting photos backstage all throughout the show, and he's going to be keeping us updated on on his pick. And our, ladies, you've got a pick too, so we'll see if we come together on our ideas. Okay, ladies, are you ready? the women you've got to have the right sales pitch and you gotta be cool here's Kevin in his act
It's my sidekick, you know what I'm saying? He's like my American Express car, you don't leave home without him. You know, what's his name? Huh? What's his name? Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. And, and is that a Pooh phone you have? That's a, <laughs> this is my Pooh phone. Your Pooh phone. Yeah. So you say that when you come across the women, you gotta have your sales pitch together, right? Yeah. And you have to be cool. Oh yeah, you gotta be cool, most definitely. That's how you get all the beautiful honeys out here, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. your roses if you were going to like uh, swoon her and give her a great sales pitch tell me how you do it well first of all I get eye contact because you know what I'm saying the ladies neglect to get eye contact they got to have that eye contact and that sensitivity you know what uh -huh. I'm saying they don't get that they don't want you so you got to give them that you know what I'm saying they deserve that all y'all deserve that really that's right You say, what did you say? Good sales pitch. Good sales pitch. Well, he really is a salesman, Kevin. He sells cellular telephones in Florida. Here's a look at Kevin at work. believe that you are the best, the most wonderful, the most glorious, should be the winner of the contest kind of man in uniform today? Well, got that sensitivity in at Jamaican hard drive. Do you, do you know this lady? Hey, Kevin, do you know this lady? Do you I know these fine specimens. What's up, fine girl? Fine specimens. What's up, well, girl? Well, who are you? I'm Marette, his ex. Oh. And who are you? I'm I, his ex. His ex. Two exes. So is he all that merit? Come on in. I, what's that you got in your hand? You know all that you're saying out here? It ain't true. You ain't nothing but a dog. Fine. What's wrong with you? Is you crazy? <laughs> we'll be back. We're going to see how cool Kevin's going to be when we get a little bit more information from two ex-girlfriends. Meanwhile, backstage, let's check in with Christopher one more time and see how he's doing with our next man in uniform. Who's going, who's, what's going on back there, Christopher? Uh, well, we're just shooting this guy back here right now. He's uh, sort of all greased up. Your staff have uh, got baby oil on him, and we're just oh, getting... Oh, uh, you know that Rolanda staff. Oh, God, they're like unbelievable back here. <laughs> you want to join the staff? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's considered to be a mover and shaker when it comes to ladies, and he's back there, the guy you just saw, are bragging that he's three times more fun than old Kevin here, who we've yet to learn about. Another real man in uniform, and this one we're going to find out. We're going to undress you, so to speak, right after this. <laughs> Or so many women after you that you had to get an appointment book? If so, then give us a call at 1-800-4-ROSHOW or send email to roshow at AOL.com. We're going to find out why they call it a city of angels. <laughs> Let's get back to Kevin. Kevin from Florida. Oh, you told us how wonderful you were. And then we brought in two ex-girlfriends. One who brought you a doggy bone. <laughs> what are you thinking, Kevin? Well, there's not, much, there's not much I can say in a situation like that. I mean... What happened, Marette? 
Well, let's just say that I wasn't the only one. <gasps> oh, was this one over? <laughs> and here's Maya. Were you by any chance the other one? No, I wasn't. It was just us. And I don't know what happened between that relationship, but we still have a good relationship. We're still friends. You are. Mm -hmm. He's not that bad, is he? No, he treated me real well. He did. Okay. All right, let's get to that angel of a man, that next one in uniform hailing from Los Angeles, California. He says he really knows how to move women. Come on out here. Ted, I understand you also know how to confuse a few, too. Come on out. <laughs> how you doing? Well, I got something. What? I'll be right back. Oh, oh, Ted? Ted? I think you're starting to confuse me, Ted. I'm, I'm lucking out here. <laughs> Can you believe it, Ted? Come on, we got a show to, to do, to do, to do. Oh. I love it. I love it. I don't believe it. Look at you. Oh, God. What? Phones fell off, so I'm gonna give this back to you. My goodness. So you're who? I'm Tim. You're Tim, and you're who? I'm Tom. You're Tom, and you're. And I happen to be Ted. You happen to be Ted. I couldn't figure out which one was which. Boy, that was a great. You, you got me on that one. What? So what do you, you guys were? In, I mean, I thought. What do you do for a living? We're actually actors. We moved to Hollywood, California, and we just came out with a calendar. You did. because you I thought you were movers you're uh, actors acting like men in uniform yes. well the movers outfit is something we wanted for the calendar but we had so many other shots it, we just couldn't fit it in so we figured we'd come out with like that unbelievable do you guys do that because you could easily confuse people yeah everybody asks triplets and, and and twins do you ever trick women absolutely <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh give us your your best story well, uh, my girl, one of my ex-girlfriends, actually, she had planned to come over in the morning. And Tom and I were sleeping in two separate beds, side by side. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear this hugging and kissing going on. I look over, she's on top of my brother, Tom. Ah! I said, hey, I said, hey, it was you? I'm over here. Oh, God. Do you guys date, go out on dates together? We haven't done that. No, ah! not too often. But when you were like, like if, even if you go back like high school or something, did y'all go to the prom together? Yeah, we yeah, did we that did. actually. Yeah. You did. How was prom night? Yeah, oh, it was, was good. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Long time ago. How interesting was it? I can't say at this point. Well, ma well, maybe um, your date could. Go for it. <laughs> date? What date? Oh. Your date for the prom. Do you remember? Joy, Greta, and Candy there were the guys' dates to their prom when they were in high school. What were they, what were they like? Sweet and innocent. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Come on, give us some good stuff. They were Fun. rebels. Fun. Fun. Rebels. What do you think about them being calendar hunks? I think it's great. They blossomed. <laughs> yeah, I would say sure. they blossomed. <laughs> in fact, they've multiplied. <laughs> Can you imagine three times the fun? <laughs> I know you could. <laughs> 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 uh, let's check in backstage one more.
one more time. Christopher, who's back there with you now? It uh, looks like you got some hot stuff. What, what do you do, guy? Fire, bo both of you firefighters. Two firemen are back here right now, and we're just getting ready to get them uh, all set up. Oh, gosh, they're getting set up. Oh we're getting God. set up out here, too. Do, do, fire, do the men in uniform, sexy men in uniform, photograph and work in front of a camera as well as some of the greats like the Andy Warhols and the, the Liz Taylors and the rest that you photograph? Well, some of them do. Uh, these guys here are just sort of, they're just brand new at this, it looks like. And I'm not sure. Have you guys done <laughs> calendar work before? Never. Oh, so they're just, they're, they're, they're starting out. Ooh, well, they're pretty good for start for beginners, you know. Well, honey, all I can, all I can say is if your building's on fire, you better hope that one of these two men in uniform is clambering up that ladder to save you. We're going to be back when the smoke clears right after this. To smell a little smoke. <laughs> and you know where there's smoke? There's fire! <laughs> Before I introduce you to our hunky firemen as we continue our men in uniform contest here, during the break we got to talking about these three hunky actors up here. Who, <laughs> unbelievable! The triplets! And somebody said, I said, you know, I wonder what in the world their parents look like. And lady over there said, I wonder what their daddy looked like. <laughs> Daddy, right over here. Come on and stand up and join us. Thank you. Boy, oh boy. What's your name? Ted DeFilippo. See you. What, a, what great guys you have there. Oh, yeah. There it took a lot to get them out. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a secret to it. There's a secret. Please tell us. Oh, I don't know if I should say it. Had one sock on, one sock off. And that's how yeah, you that's made triplets. Before them, I had two girls. So I figured I'd try something different. Oh, well, One yeah. sock on, and that did the trick. <laughs> one of them should win the contest. Are they really uh, hunky, sexy men in uniform? I can ask the girls that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got my answer. <laughs> All right. How many of you in here love firemen? Yeah! <laughs> How about a fireman from Waukegan, Illinois? All right! All right! <laughs> we have Ken, and from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here's Andy. Some of us women love we firemen. Know. No, you know. You know. How do you know? After 10 years of being a firefighter, yeah. it's incredible the attention we get. Why do you think that is? Oh. Women love men. We don't care. We enjoy We don't it. care. We don't care. Just rev up that engine and fly down the street. That's it. Unbelievable. Do you guys have any ladies at home, or are you just out here just trying to... No. We're, we're dating like mad. Huh? We're dating like mad. You're dating like mad. I'm trying to date like mad. You're trying to date like mad. <laughs> I'm dating like mad. <laughs> Ken claims he hasn't found the right gal. You never know. There she go. There she is. I mean, you never know. She could be around here sitting under your helmet all the time. There you are. Is this the woman you were looking for? Say yes, please. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on. Come on.
won't get you a drink during the show. Listen, uh, Ken, do you have any idea who might just happen to have the hots for you? Me. <laughs> Besides her, there are a few. There are a few. Yeah, a few. And Kevin, do you have any idea who might have the hots for you? Me. <laughs> you can't have everybody. I'm thinking maybe uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Stella. Stella. What's your name? Hi. Remember when I called you and told you that I did not, I just wanted to be friends? I lied, and what I really want to do is put oil on you. Oh, great. Oh, Wait a minute. Debbie. Debbie. Yeah. And how do you know him? We hang out. We date. We go out. We hang did out. you know she had the hots for you all this time? She told me, but she denied it. So she had me thinking, well, maybe yes, maybe no. She's a big joker. <laughs> and so when you heard her say it the first time and you heard her, did you like the idea? I, I thought she was joking. But did you like the idea? I like the idea. But she's such a joker. You never know when she's joking or when she's serious. <laughs> well, listen, you don't stop a woman in red who has her mind on doing something. Go on and oil it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Debbie, tell, tell us what it is that you like so much about this man. He, he's so nice. Treats you like a lady. I mean, we're just friends and he'll just... <laughs> I like that fireman's equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Debbie isn't the only one who has a fantasy. Andrew, I understand you have a fantasy too. Me. <laughs> well, besides her, yes, Rolanda, I do. And what is your fantasy? Well, let me show you. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Uh oh. Uh, wait, Amy? I'm going. I want to hear this. <laughs> I didn't bring you to New York for anything, Amy. Are you talking to that? You know this lady? You know each other? I think so. You, you think you know him? You know her? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. Are Amy? you surprised by what's happening here? Yes, very much so. Well, let's, let's all share the secret. <laughs> Amy, if I was to take you out, oh I'd take God. you to the top of the Hyatt, take you for a nice carriage ride afterwards, and a nice night out of the town. But you have to go out with me first. I'd love to. No! <laughs> <laughs> she loves you. How do you know him? Yeah. I wait on him hand and foot. You wait on him hand and foot? Is that like y'all boyfriend girlfriend? No. no. Did you ever know he thought this way about you? Not at all. You no. did? Oh my god, no. Did you ever have a, like a little look at him every once in a while? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think you have a lot to talk about tonight. <laughs> well, let's hear it for a hot romance. Yeah. On See, nice, wonderful things can happen on the Rolanda show. Oh, look at her. You know, some say that the postman only rings twice. Well, honey, our next sexy man in uniform says he's rung the bells of about 160 different women. And he says he's still making special deliveries on those goods. There he is back there. Christopher's this guy's worth it. We'll find out after this. Do you have so many men or so many women after you that you had to get an appointment book? If so, then give us a call at 1-800-4-ROSHOW or send email to rosho at aol.com. girlfriend kind of day. Don't you say that? Love it. Love it. Uh, but I tell you, things could get a little hot here now. I got three factions of women who want this next guy. 
I don't know how we're gonna split everybody up. You want him, right? Yeah. You want him, right? <laughs> you want him too, right? Girlfriend said, do not forget about me. <laughs> Our next sexy man in uniform might be able to express mail his way into your heart or your heart or your heart. He comes from Winter Springs, Florida, but it's warm down there. Come on out, Karen. to the government today. <laughs> so tell us about you. I mean, you're, you're quite a postman. <laughs> when you go deliver mail, do you get like winks and little folks trying to hit on you? Well, yes. see, mostly in Florida, it's like old people. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, I decided I, not to do that. So um, I work inside. So uh, women get to come in and see me. Oh, I see. So then I can talk to them. Oh, so they come to you. Yeah. I understand you can, you think you can get just about anybody you want. You I think, me? I think any man, <laughs> if all a woman wants is time, if you give any girl in here time and respect, she'll like you. So uh, anybody in this panel, if you give it. Yeah. Every, all the guys agreed on that, right? See, that, that's really nice to meet a group of guys who really think about respecting women, being nice and taking time. Yeah. Very soon, our audience here is going to get to choose Rolanda's very first annual I Love a Man in Uniform contest winner. But there's one more guy waiting backstage. In fact, he's a waiter, but it's appropriate. And he claims the customer is always right, especially when she's a gorgeous girl. Start placing your orders, ladies. Pick up your menus, and we'll be right back. For show ideas or comments, write to The Rolanda Show, 1456 2nd Avenue, Suite 202, New York, New York, 10021. here in the Big Apple, and he knows a good dish when he sees one. <laughs> and while Todd says he gets good tips on the job, he admits he sure could use a few good tips of another kind. We're going to find out what in the world where he's talking about. Where is that Todd? Come on out here, Todd. <laughs> Woo! buddy. That is quite a dish you serve there. How you doing? I'm doing fine. So men in uniform include waiters. I bet you got women wanting to read your menu. Tell you the truth, I really wouldn't know. I cannot, cannot tell if someone's hitting on me or not. I'm blind. You mean you need some dating tips? Uh, I could use a few, yeah. Definitely. Well, um, anybody have a dating tip for Todd? <laughs> Who's got a dating tip? What do you need to know, Todd? Nah. <laughs> These ladies it's over just... here said they'd like to tip you. <laughs> what are you thinking over here? He's just good looking. He's got great hair. <laughs> you got great hair. Great chest. Great chest. Tip. You'd give him a big tip. Well, let's see how you... He... <laughs> what? The key is to write your number on the bottom of the receipt. Ooh. <laughs> 
Did you know that one? I know this did that. <laughs> well, let's take a look at Todd at work. Let's see if anybody was writing that number on the receipt. Here's Todd. The hot and spicy waiter. And I'm looking for the woman of my dreams. Yeah. Waiter extraordinaire. Oh, he's adorable. You know something, Todd? One thing I think a lot of a lot of my sisters here might agree on is that what also makes a man so sexy is to have a sense of humor, a, a vive de life, you know, just like a, a, a glory to live and a good spirit, and you seem to have that. Doesn't that work for you? Yeah, well, it, it does. You know, I, I can humor them a lot, but um, I don't know, it's just hard sometimes for me to pick up whether they're hitting on me or not, you know. I don't want to offend, you know, I don't want to come on too strong, turn them away, so I'm generally very easy going with them. How, how, any tips that you would give him? Maybe his eye contact, would that help him know? Body line. Wait a minute, here's a lady up here. Good tip up here. The best tips always come from the back row. Come on, stand up. I was just saying, Pamela, show him. Is that no. <laughs> Pam said she's collecting enough roses. She's got a bouquet at this point. Um, but you know, there somebody called us and said that they they really like you. So whatever you were doing, you were doing it right with this lady. With someone that I actually took care of. Somebody. Or? Some. Yeah. You might Put it that way. <laughs> um, in fact, I think, she, can you hear me? Yes. I, have, I understand that you have something you wanted to read for Todd. Yes, I do. Okay, Todd, you listen. <laughs> Go on. I am so disappointed with myself for not having contacted you earlier. I kept putting off writing until I knew what I was doing and was settled. I hope you understand. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Love, you, Todd. Do you know who you wrote that to? I, I, I think so. Julia? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, uh, Julia, is it? I did it all the time. Yeah. Is it a Julia? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Promotional consideration provided by... Introducing Remington Smart Setter, the only heated rollers that turn white when they're ready to use. For perfectly timed curls every time. Smart Setter, new from Remington. Remember your first games? I win, Dad! They can be your child's first games, too. Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, and Uncle Wiggly, all from Milton Bradley. Glade Clip-Ons, the refillable air freshener designed specially for your car. Now with more freshening power. In a taste test of high fiber cereals, the uniquely light and crispy taste of Fiber One was preferred over these other leading brands. Fiber One, the one that tastes better. The one and only Vlasic Sandwich Stackers, the greatest thing that's happened to a sandwich since sliced bread. The original sandwich stackers from Vlasic, the perfect pickle to stack. Welcome back. Come on, uh, cool down. I decided to buy a phone. Um, I'm going to be an arsonist. Uh, <laughs> I'm changing my zip code, and I'm never cooking again. <laughs> For those three, God bless your mother and father. Ah, no! Gorgeous, gorgeous. Who else has a question? Beautiful. I want to know, how do you, Kevin, and how can I get a calendar? How old is Kevin? 25. Years young, that is. Yeah. Years young. And are you on a calendar? 
No. I'll be on your calendar. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the triplets are on a calendar. Where can we find your calendar, guys? You got to call us. It's only through the mail. It's not going to be in the stores. Okay. All right. Come on. Just give us a call. <laughs> How old is the mailman? How old is the mailman? I'm 21 years old. 21. Mm. And, and, what, and what do you think is a good time, mailman? What kind of express service do you give? Um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 times a year. But do you have a... Do you have an idea of the most perfect date? If you were really going to just make a woman fall crazy in love with you, where would you take her? I'd take wherever her dreams wanted her to take her. If it meant across to Alaska, if it meant just next door to her house, that would be wherever she wanted to go. All right. Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I, I wanted to know if the triplets are single. Are you all three Absolutely. single? Absolutely. Can I have a date with all three of you? <laughs> That would be fun. Okay, yes, ma'am. You have a question? Yeah, Stand up. I want to ask Kevin a question. Yes. I want to know, what kind of dog are you? Are you a pit bull or a chihuahua? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. If you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? I'm a hot dog. <laughs> should be the best man in the uniform? My best features? Uh-huh. My lips? <laughs> my hips? It's a family show! And my large feet. You know what they say about large feet. <laughs> Oh my God. Just my personality. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a great hairy chest. One of those teddy bear chests. <laughs> okay, what's your best asset there, Tom? My fluffy hair. Your fluffy hair? <laughs> the tight abba dabbas. <laughs> and a nasty butt. <laughs> It, triplets. <laughs> <laughs> They're multiplying. Um, if, what, what, would, what would make a woman really remember the moments that she spent with each of you? And it has to be something different, which is going to distinguish you two, Tim, you three, Tim, Tom, and Ted. <laughs> All right, Ted, start with you. Is that a call? Um, probably my smile. What about, yeah. <laughs> and the brothers are going, wait, wait a minute, that's our smile. That's my smile. What about you, Ted? I mean, uh, Tom. <laughs> um, remember me, huh? Probably my bedroom eyes. Mm. Bedroom eyes. <laughs> okay. And our next triplet. Well, they took the best one, so I'd say maybe the chest. Yeah. guy we have our Rolanda applause meter working here and of course whoever gets the most applause is going to win okay we're gonna split the triplets up they're gonna become single men oh wait a minute it should be one yeah all right so whoever all right okay here we go it's your show all right let's begin this young man Firefighter number one, Andrew. Firefighter number two. The postman who rings a lot of times. And our friendly waiter, Todd. And we will come back with the winner of Rolanda's first annual I Love a Man in Uniform contest.
there is. Do you know something? It's close, but the winner was actually Ken the Fireman. And Pam is going to grab you. Let's hear it for our man in uniform. You don't think we'd have you win this big contest and, and have you spend the night all by yourself. Ooh. I mean, you have to have somebody to go to dinner with, clink a little champagne with, right? That's it. Ladies, it could be one of you. Oh. Underneath one chair in this big studio, there is a gift certificate to go and enjoy a wonderful night. Somebody has it hidden under there. It's underneath the chair. Wait a minute, who's got it? Who's got it? Oh! <laughs> so what are you thinking? What am I thinking? Now it says you want a free dinner gift certificate to Voulez-vous Restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for spending this hour with us. Boy, wasn't this fun? Yeah! yeah. <laughs>